probably going to be one of the most important videos I'm going to be doing, but it's how you want to take it. To me, I think this information is crazy. It's very important. Um, guys, now, when you open up an account with the bank, any bank, you're actually having a contract. It's like a business contract. Now, listen, not everyone read this contract because the most important point of the contract is in small print. When you give a bank money, you are considered, listen to these words carefully, unsecured depositor holding an IOU or promise to pay. You can't own it. You're unsecured. First of all, folks, you can't own money. I'm going to repeat that. You cannot own money. You don't believe me? Go in your wallet, take it out. Is your name on it? No, it's not. It says Federal Reserve Bank, correct? Or whatever country you're in, it says that central bank of that country, correct? All these central banks in the world are connected through the World Bank, okay? Linked to the IMF, they're all connected, every single one of them, folks. The new, what's running the world is, is banks. It's not government. You guys need to wake up. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video, I'm going to explain how they're going to steal your money. But I got to get that out of the way because when I tell this to people, they're like, how can they steal my money? It's my money. I work for that money. No, idiot. It's not your money. We're only given rights of usage. Yes, we're slaves. I'm going to repeat that. Yes, we're slaves. Rights of usage. When you give a slave the right to do something or to use something, you, the person that's above the slave, cannot always take it away. The bank can always take that right away, folks. That's why you're an unsecured depositor. Banks, they, the only way banks can make money, they got to do loans. Car loans, business loan, mortgages, and so forth. Personal loan. All those loans are put together in a group called, they're bonds. All those different category uh, loans are put together all those bonds, guys, and they're called derivatives. These derivatives are now put on the stock market and their trade and other investors in other countries buy these debt. At this point, they no longer buy in the U.S. debt. It's no longer worth it. Realistically, I don't blame them because no one is paying their bills anymore. You see the inflation here? People can barely afford anything. That's why they're no longer buying the U.S. debt. Now, this is what's going to happen when they start buying the debt and buying these derivatives. When these derivatives start overlapping, guys, and when they're no longer making any money on these derivatives, the real asset, the asset the bank has is actually the money you're giving, in, giving to bank to put in your account, 401k and also pensions. Once those derivatives fold, the 10th Circuit Court appeal already, which is, yeah, Give the bank permission to go ahead and take that asset, which is the money you've been working for for 20, 30, 40 years of your life, giving it to the bank. So what the bank is going to do, folks, they're going to go in your personal account and they're going to take it. It's called a bail-in. They take your money from your bank account. They're going to take your money from your 401k and they're going to take it from your pension. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. You know why? Guess. Yes, you're right. You can't own it. You're just, they're just taking away the right of usage from you at that point. You no longer have the right to use that money. Because that asset in that account now belongs to the bank. Because the bank is not in this game to lose. They're not, guys. All right? Now, I don't like to give too much of these messages, even though I'm telling you guys facts. Because a lot of people be like, you know, I know it, it, it brings down a lot of people. But... I have, there, there's hope. There's hope. Okay, I'm going to give you guys some good ideas. If you got money in the bank and you, you know, you want to keep it in the bank, I'm going to give you some ideas. Go to a credit union. Listen to me carefully. These major banks, Bank of America, Chase, and so forth, stay away from them. Go to your local community bank, your local credit union, and ask one question to that bank manager. Listen to me. How exposed are you to derivatives? Listen to this question. This is a question I want you to ask them. How exposed are you to derivatives? If you ask that credit union or that community bank that question and they said they're not exposed to it, 
oh my God, give them all your money. You're safe. Okay? And don't forget that. I'm not saying, I have a, I have a bank account with major major banks, but this is the bank account I use to pay my bills, guys. You keep a certain amount of money in there and you use it to pay your bills. You're, all, you're not gonna exceed certain amount of money. So you gotta be smart about it. That means they decide to take my money, I don't care, I don't have a lot in there. Another way people you do it, if you really don't, if you really don't wanna give the bank your money, invest in a really, really, really good safe. Don't tell anyone you're doing this, not even your family. Put a safe in your house and that's where you keep your cash. Basically, you have your own bank in your damn house. All right? And make sure that safe is, is well secure where they can't steal it. And you're the only one with that combination. Guys, first and foremost, guys, I'm not here to spread fear. To, 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 I'm only here to make you guys aware. I want you guys to know what's coming. And these days are around the corner. These days are very, very, very close. It's coming. Get yourself ready and this is what this video is all about is to make you guys aware i hope this information helped ciao